Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Soul Calibur 6. Where well, last time we actually, uh, well, we discovered Gro's power and also uh, finished Chapter 2 to move on to Chapter 3. We also uh, encountered uh, the one sleazy uh, merchant or traveler known as Lila as we helped her with uh, her little, uh, little thing, trying to escort her by and then finding out, oh yeah, no, this seems weird. So we're going to go ahead and progress to the story, see what we have in store for us. After an, ardu an arduous journey across the harsh desert, I found myself in the oasis city of Ka Kashgar. I have arranged to meet my subordinates here. Forgive my tardiness, sir. And what have they decided? Sir, the Twelve has spoken. Although it is unclear whether or not the subject is an outsider, the majority have voted to allow him to accompany us on our mission. They're treating this as a special case. Understood. Sir, I have one more thing to report. You found Aswell? Or have you located another astral fissure? Neither. The Twelve wish for you to investigate a facility in Kashgar suburbs and destroy it if possible. I have the orders here. So, Aswell was here. Diane, Nat Natalie, head to the facility and carry out the mission. Sir. Understood. Diane and Natalie walked off. I asked Gro what our next move was. He turned to face me. The location of the astral fissure remains unknown, but be ready to leave when when whenever necessary. When your preparations are complete, meet me here. Okay. Fuck actual explanations. We're just gonna say, yeah, we're gonna do this. Wait, did they add more missions? Yes, they did. Right over there. And we have a... Oh, we got a couple. Okay. Well, I'm kind of curious. Let's, uh, let's see what exactly this is over here. Ah, it's a character mission. Thomas the Explorer. Ah, we got Thomas back. Okay. Well, maybe we should go... Before we do explorations exploration let's go ahead we'll head back to Daka because it looks like uh, we got another mission probably from Lila Lila all right here we go let's see what exactly uh, we're looking at here the tavern in the port town was teeming with fishermen merchant sailors and all sorts of sea folk as I sat there eating my dinner someone from among the boisterous crowd suddenly called out to me hey you I've seen your mug before haven't I Huh? Oh yeah, it's that punk w that was with Maxie and his crew. I couldn't forget that face even if I wanted to. Because of you, we were adrift at sea for days. We thought we were done for. Although they remembered me, I had no recollection of them. They were apparently a pirate I defeated when uh, traveling with Maxie and his crew. We got you now. Hope you're ready for us to send your sorry butt to Davy Jones's locker. Okay. Okay, we're going with Davy Jones. That's fine. That's fine. Pi basic pi pirate talk. I'm not going to complain. Well, let's take care of these pirates. It shouldn't be no big deal for me, of all people. Hopefully. I'm saying that now because there is a high chance uh, I, I could be wrong. I didn't even look at like their levels. I just started it. So hopefully they're not too highly leveled. Let's say that. So... Hope for the best. That's how I got put it. Come on, game. Load on up. Help, help me out here. Oh, no! Okay, I'll take that. Yo, if I can just keep doing that, that'd be great. Okay, I was like, fuck, slippery. And I have one life, too. Oh, God. This is gonna suck. Oh, he knew what I was doing. It's okay, as long as I'm not near the edge, that's all I care about. Fuck. Fuck out of here. Okay, one more to go. Gotta hope for the best, is all I gotta say. Because otherwise this might be a big ass issue if I can't beat if I if I lose to this. 
I just hate when they add this uh, this component to the fight. I hate slippery. Could have been worse. I'll take it. Do, do, do. All right, let's see what we have next. Got to hope for the for the best. Damn, we'll let you live this time. But things aren't gonna be as easy for you next time. You hear? Tell that bastard Maxi the same goes for him. As I watched the pirates make their retreat, an elderly fellow sitting next to me handed me a drink. Not bad, Sonny Boy. I'd say you're probably the ninth strongest person I've seen in my lifetime. Here, have a drink. It's on me. I thanked the old man and took the drink, then proceeded to ask him about the eight people stronger than me. I'm talking about pirates. The eight people, people stronger than you are pirates, of course. And speaking of pirates, who comes to my, mind for you? Francis Drake, perhaps? Or maybe the red bearded terrors of the Mer Meridian, the Barbados Brothers. What about the pirate queen, Gra Grace O'Malley? You've heard of Drake's cousin, John Hawkins, right? I love how Francis Drake is brought up. Like, I'm over here thinking straight to, like, Uncharted. There are hordes of famous pirates, but for me, the king of them all is none other than Cervantes de, de Leon. Oh, huh? You've never heard of him? Yeah, the, the guy who held Soul, Soul Edge? Haha, <laughs> maybe that's for the best, eh? According to the old man's story, he was apparently a great pirate that was known to all who sailed the Atlantic. He fears, he's fear and dread incarnate, that's for sure. I saw him once when I was a kid, and after that I was so scared I couldn't get a wink of sleep that night. He sailed the seas of his galleon, the Adrian, sack then slaughter, was his creed, and just his name alone was enough to strike fear into the hearts of all who heard it. He was one of the few pirates adept at handling two weapons at once, and some say his strikes were strong as the blows of a kraken. You know, this is just between you and me, but Captain Cervantes... Oh, I hit the wrong button. The old man went on seemingly without end. He regaled me on the tales of the great pirate Cervantes until the next morning. I love, I love that. Alright, watch, we're gonna have a character mission because of that. Doubt it, but you know, you never know. Oh, everything just disappeared. Okay, interesting. Well, let's go ahead. We'll head back to uh, Kashgar, and we'll do the next main mission. And it's a level two. Okay, that's not bad. Wandering through the city, I heard a cheerful voice shouting at the crowd. I noticed an energetic young young woman standing in front of a shop. Gather round, behold Bolta, the blacksmith's most beautiful blade, forged by a legendary blacksmith. It boasts untold sharpness. Despite her best efforts, the passerby did just that. Pass her by. Huh. <sighs> Nothing today either, huh? The girl caught sight of me. Hey you, that's a fine weapon you got there. You look capable of handling yourself too. I need you to do something for me. Here's payment up front. She tossed over a bag of coins and drew the sword she had been trying to sell and pointed it at me. It's time for a demonstration. Don't worry, I'll go easy on you. Oh God. Okay. I, I, yo, I, you know the worst part is I'm just gonna be humiliating her in front of her store. Unless the mission says I have to lose, but I, I doubt it. I doubt that's the case because, uh, well, well, that would require me to get a game over. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to beat her. And who knows, maybe I'll get that fancy blade she has, too. You never know. Sadly, I don't think it's gonna be up to par with my weapon skills. It's probably gonna be someone else's swords. I have a feeling. That's just kind of how I am. Just a feeling. Yep, okay. Too easy! 
Okay, yeah, sorry, Volta. Am I losing now? Okay, I feel bad for this one. Start beating her in the face. Oh, okay, let's see what we got now. Thanks, that'll get their attention. Well, everyone now that you've witnessed the sword, of the, uh, the sword in action, why not buy it? I'll even throw in something extra to sweeten the pot. The demonstration seemed to be to, uh, to have been successful, and people crowded around her. Some seemed very interested in her merchandise, too. What an excellent choice. This is our latest axe design. When the swarm of customers eventually dispersed, the blacksmith walked over to me, smiling broadly. You really saved my skin. If you want to show off a weapon, you gotta use it, right? I complimented her on her passion and courage, and her innovative sales techniques. And she grew flustered. Nah, I'm really, really, I'm not really doing this for the thrill of com uh, commerce. I need the money. I got something I need to get back. Anyway, who cares about that? The name's Volta, and I'm the boss here at the smithy. The smithy. Well, I mean, I'm the only one who works here, so yeah. Anyway, take this as a token of my thanks. I don't just make weapons, you know. I upgrade them too. That material, material I just gave you, is used to do. Uh, is used to do that. If you need an upgrade on a weapon, you, you know where to find me. Wait, hold on, hold on. Weapon upgrades? I finished my preparations and went to meet Grow. He was waiting for me. Good, you're here. The situation had changed. Dion and Natalie should have reached the facility by now, but I have yet to hear word from them. Something likely happened. We're going after them. I'm just gonna nod. We don't need to ask. Let us make haste. I would say it's his, it's his men, like, men and women. <laughs> like, it'd be kind of fucked up if I said, yeah, we're not gonna, like, who, who needs to help him? Okay, okay, so I get this, I need upgrade weapons. Well, it show me how it works. Kind of curious. Ah, Volta, okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So if I go here, I can just add a bonus on top of it. Wait, hold up. Okay, I'm curious. Does this increase the level? No. It just pretty much got rid of my weapon. Oof. But I got an achievement for it, so it all works out. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Get a new weapon here. Go ahead and go to Seek Free because I'm not changing what I do. Level 16 and it comes with an all damage bonus. Yes, let's go for it. And we'll go ahead and open our menu. We'll go ahead and swap to uh, this weapon. Yeah, I would say the power in it is very necessary. No uh, bonuses though. Um, let's go ahead, let's uh, see what we got. Do we have any new? Okay. What about uh, if I explore? I want to see what these all are. Bounty. This is a mi character mission. Search for strength. That is a high level one. Search for strength. Scoundrels. Bounty. Okay. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, this mission over here. Might as well. Fuck. Uh, I would say I, I do have that uh, luck here. Oh my god. Um, well, I mean, either way, might as well try it. If I lose, I have to get sent back. So, better than ending it and having it go back anyway. But le 10 levels higher, man. I got this. I, I believe in myself. I, I, got, I got my brand new uh, giant sword. And I think I got the skill to do this. Alright, come on game, I believe in you. Load on in. 
Let's take care of this enemy real quick so I can end the video. Luckily with these fights, it's literally just a one, a one, hit, one round kind of thing here. So, all right, let's hope for the best. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh god, um Fuck it out. Fuck it. Okay. No, come on. Are you kidding me? My dude would not let me get a hit in. Fuck! Alright, I guess I'm heading back and then we're ending the video. Then we're gonna try that again, cause damn. I just wanna do the character level. I wanna see what exactly Thomas has that has a specific character in it. Alright. Fuck, that's a lot of gold I lost. Alright, well guys, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna end it here. If you enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below. It really helps out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!